Thank you, Margaret, for accepting this commencement notice, and indeed I'd like to welcome our, our good friend and colleague Tom Hayes, Minister Tom Hayes, to the House. Um, I understand Simon Harris, uh, who is direct responsibility for this, is unavoidably absent uh, due to government commitments. Um, the, these particular buildings that are in the ownership of the OPW are located in Corrafin in County Clare. They are adjacent to the community hall uh, in the town. The buildings have been derelict for a number of years, uh, I understand many years. Uh, there's nothing happening with these buildings, they're vacant, they're empty. Um, I suppose on top of that then, uh, and, and what makes this uh, an interesting, um, if you like, proposition, is that Corrafin as a community has a very active community council, very active tidy towns. Uh, the branch of Kyotis there is extremely active with uh, my former colleague, uh, Councillor Joe Arkins and others, um, uh, they have um, recently uh, invested significant money uh, in upgrading uh, their community hall, which was opened officially on the 11th of September. Um, you know, a lot of communities have a lot of good people uh, working within the community. Uh, but Corrafin in County Clare is exceptional in terms of uh, the sheer uh, commitment uh, from sports, uh, from uh, theatre, uh, from arts, uh, tidy towns, community groups, etc. Uh, this local community group have expressed an interest in taking over the buildings uh, that are lying derelict uh, in the ownership of the OPW. Either uh, purchase them at a nominal price or um, uh, uh, take them over in a long term lease for a nominal uh, figure. Um, they have had numerous correspondence uh, with uh, the OPW offices in Trim, which they have always received very courteous replies to. Um, basically, uh, uh, they would have had numerous uh, uh, acknowledgements to letters and to their pr uh, propositions, uh, um, worded in different language, but essentially saying the same thing, that there was no interest uh, in, in doing anything. Now, um, I acknowledge the fact that um, circumstances have now changed in this country. Um, we have a lot of Garda stations that are vacant, and I salute the Minister and indeed the Government uh, for making vacant Garda stations available to members of the community where it has been deemed appropriate. And this has worked very well, and there's numerous examples of where uh, uh, closed down Garda stations are now uh, being used as um, spaces for citizens. Uh, so what I'm suggesting is that this policy now would extend to the buildings in Corrafin adjacent to St Patrick's Hall and that um, the government uh, enter into a partnership with the local community, a community that's tried and tested, a community that has proven itself time and time again uh, in terms of uh, its commitment and in terms of uh, its ability uh, to get things done and, as they say, finish the job. Um, I think that this type of um, partnership, uh, which uh, um, has worked well in, in many, many uh, cases, like we were talking about sports capital grants and all these things, that's their examples of where government go into partnership with communities. Uh, leader funding, uh, uh, where community halls up and down the country have received substantial millions of euros uh, of funding. That's an example of where government has gone into partnership and supported local communities. What's the difference in providing buildings? These buildings are derelict, they're doing nothing, they're open to being vandalised, uh, they're just sitting there depreciating in value when it could add immense social value uh, to uh, the, the people and the community and the children and the young people and the youths of Corrafin in County Clare. Thank you, I thank uh, Senator Conway for raising this very important issue. The government is committed to reforming property asset management in the public service to ensure value to ta taxpayer. The Commissioner of Public Works manages a large and diverse portfolio of property assets, including historic properties, on behalf of the state. The, state, uh, the stated policy for surplus property is to identify if other state bodies, including government departments and the wider public sector, have a use for the property. If no state requirement is identified, the OPW will consider disposing of the property on the open market in order to generate revenue for the exchequer. 
If a decision is taken not to dispose the particular property, the OPW will consider community involvement subject to the receipt of an appropriate business case. It's very important now. This must indicate that the community or indeed the voluntary group has the means to ensure, maintain and manage the property and that there is no cost to the exchequer in the short, medium or long term. Where properties have been assigned, these have been uh, generally to community councils that represent a broad range of community or voluntary organisations with linked local solace, community employment schemes and indeed R&D indeed tools. Decisions taken by the OPW to license certain properties are based on the following principles. The benefit of the broader community in terms of local services, activities or uh, employment, training opportunities to be achieved from the use of the property, savings to the state of maintenance, service and other costs, ownership remaining with the state with re-entry clause at a time to be decided by the OPW. When retaining properties, the OPW continues to explore use for them through state bodies and local authorities in addition to considering community use. Senator Conway has referred to the question of property at Corrafen in County Clare being made available to local community. The property comprises of two large semi-detached houses on the site of three acres in the centre of the village of Corrafen. The internal square footage of the two buildings in the region of 220 square metres and is estimated to be 90 to 100 years old. The interior of the building is in very poor condition. The roof, which is of slate, construction is in need of significant repair and the property requires a substantial investment in order to bring it up to modern standards. The property has been used as office accommodation uh, for the National Parks and Wildlife. The property, now this is most important for you, is surplus to requirement and has been assessed in line with the disposal property uh, that I have outlined. No alternative uh, stage use has been identified and the property is now being prepared for disposal uh, by public auction in the very near future and I hope you'll be very satisfied with that answer as it, I think it outlines exactly what, what you want to do. A brief question, Senator. Uh, yes, well I suppose when um, um, somebody goes to a bank manager for a loan, part of the criteria is uh, their track record and the community in Corrafin have a track record. So I would ask the Minister if he could go back uh, to uh, his colleague, uh, Minister Simon Harris, and ask Minister Harris if he could identify a senior official in the department, of, uh, in the OPW, that will liaise with the community in Corrafin, uh, who I would hope would be in a position to acquire that, that property at a nominal cost, but it would be a significant investment in the social life, community, culture, uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, youth of, um, of, of North Clare. Yes, uh, your demands are a little bit stronger than I would have anticipated from, uh, from you. But anyway, uh, let me respond by saying it's on the public market, and if it's for the benefit of the community, um, uh, it will be, as I said, public auction is going to be sold. So I think that's the proper way to do it, and I think, uh, in fairness, to get value for it. And there's no doubt if the community are, are interested and they have the, come up with a bid and the proposal, they said it will be looked at very, very seriously.